20 years, he's breathed and lived, and Michael hasn't, at taxpayers' expense, no less. It's time to end this. It was an emotional afternoon in court today as the mothers of two murdered young men took the stand hoping to see their son's killer put to death. Stephen Lorenzo killed the two men two decades ago. Gruesome crimes that terrorized the Bay Area's gay community. Now he says he wants the death penalty. He wants the death penalty. Jeff Patterson has been covering this for us. Tell us more, Jeff. Good evening. Well, today the state and the defense rested their case, but as you just heard, the judge also heard today from two mothers whose sons were killed by Stephen Lorenzo. Lorenzo has now admitted that he did that. There is no question that Stephen Lorenzo killed Michael Wachholz and Jason Galehouse in 2003. Lorenzo has admitted that he did. But in order for Lorenzo to be sentenced to death, the state must prove the crimes were particularly heinous. The state also put on evidence today to show that Stephen Lorenzo has a pattern of violence, that he kidnapped, drugged, and sexually tortured young gay men in Tampa. I was very confused. I really didn't know what had happened. And I think I was still under the effects of the drugs because my, he my head felt terrible. The state used testimony from a previous federal trial against Lorenzo. Attorneys read testimony into the record from the previous trial, acting as witnesses. And then when I finally opened my eyes, I was on the floor, and he was on the top of me, and I was all tied up. One witness told the court that he never reported being raped by Lorenzo until he heard about the deaths of Gale House and Wachholz. When those two guys disappeared from the gay club from 2606, so it was all over the news, I don't know, somehow I thought maybe this could be related. Maybe this guy met those guys and maybe they went too far. The state then rested its case after the judge heard from the mothers of Jason Galehouse and Michael Wachholz. I want that man to get the death penalty and nothing less, period. Both mothers asked the judge to sentence Stephen Lorenzo to death. He should no longer breathe. My son doesn't, so why should he? The uh, state, as I said, has rested its case. Stephen Lorenzo did not put on a single witness or put on any evidence in his own defense. He has asked the judge for the death penalty. The judge will come back on February 24th and pronounce sentence.